Well, we had a bit more rain. So this has been a very slow trip to the shed. G'day guys, Matt here again. Uh, yeah, we've got a few shed jobs on the cards for today. We got, um, yeah, had a bit of rain last night, uh, about 50 mil. And uh, yeah, so she's pretty wet around here. And uh, yeah, so this is our opportunity to get a few things done in the shed. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. But this um, this tractor here, we've had a bit of an issue with the uh, harness under the cab. Uh, it controls the throttle and everything, um, runs on top of the gearbox and it, um, yeah, rubbed through in a spot. And um, yeah, it was causing quite a few issues and eventually found, the, found where it was rubbing and um, just temporarily kept the wires away from what it was rubbing um, and yeah it's been getting us through for the last couple of months but um, yeah we've got a new harness here now and yeah we'll fit her up and uh, see how she goes hopefully fixes all our issues and yeah guys if uh, if you like these sort of videos and uh, the vlogging style uh, in particular or anything just let us know in the comments and uh, hit the like button and um, yeah subscribe if you haven't already yeah so that's the old harness there just got him out then it's fairly uh, fairly big job, but um, yeah, we've got the new one there. Good idea, I find anyway, is um, yeah, before you put a new one in, you just double check everything, make sure it is the right one. Um, and yeah, just make sure you've got all the plugs numbered that need to be numbered, so don't get anyone, uh, any, any of them confused. And um, yeah, no, it's worth the extra time spent um, yeah, just to make sure everything's right. So, um, as you can see here, uh, this is one spot where it's rubbed through. There's, um, yeah, about three wires there have rubbed through. And yeah, there's just a couple other spots where there's a bit of chafing. Um, and yeah, we've had a couple of issues and ended up, um, yeah, cutting and running new wires to bypass sections of it. Um, See if I can find one here. Yeah. This one is for the linkage. Um, yeah, we had to cut that and run a new wire because we were just weren't getting the voltage, um, the base voltage to that um, sensor on the linkage. Um, and yeah, there's probably another couple over here that we had to, um, yeah, run new wires to. So yeah, it's just gets to the point when you, it's nice to just start from scratch and um, yeah. Hopefully it'll fix some of our issues. Yeah, we're just doing the finishing touches here. Um, yeah, got a few, fair bit pulled apart here and um, had to get all in there where the batteries are and you can see here where the harness comes through. Um, we've got, it's a bit dark in here, but we've got, that's the new one there. So it goes across over the gearbox. This one comes down here and goes all the way to the back. Um, and then we've got uh, this one here where it goes to the front goes down to all the solenoid um, for your transmission down here. Um, all those solenoids, there's about um, six or seven of them. Um, and yeah, so we're just, just trying to tie everything up now um, so it doesn't rub through again. Righto, she's all done. We'll um, up up here and test her out. Hopefully all the, uh, yeah, no more codes. So we're having issues with the uh, three-point linkage. Um, we've been having them for quite a while, so um, it throws up a code and then uh, he obviously can't use it, so we want to test that. Drop it. Got that working. Uh, it's just low on fuel, that's that buzzer. Um, yeah, I think everything's working. There's nothing coming up on the dash. That might have had a winnie. G'day again guys, yeah we just got a bit more rain so yeah we can't can't get it to dry out and it just keeps raining so we've got uh, yes plenty of shed jobs we've been trying to catch up on. Um, we've got that uh, yeah the triple five versatile is fixed, um, yeah there was I think it was a circlip on one of the shafts in the gearbox had popped off um, so yeah we yeah that's all fixed up. Um, we've got the Steiger um, we're just chasing up some new fittings for the rear to hook up the um, cultivator that's behind the triple five actually now. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're getting that all set up to go on that. Um, and yeah, we've got <coughs> the 280 here is fixed. Um, the harness, put the harness in and I hooked it up just to this gas rig here. Um, and yeah, didn't have any issues, but 
um, yeah, we've just been going through this. We're finished with it for this season, so we're, um, yeah, we've just gone right through all the bearings, checked them all, um, and yeah, I had to replace one of the uh, bearings for the discs, this bearing there, and um, yeah, one of the cover-up uh, discs there, covering discs that are behind there was, um, yeah, had a crook bearing, so got that done, um, and yeah, just go and check it over it all, make sure it's ready to go for next year, check the wheel bearings on the, on the applicator, and um, yeah, that way when we put it in the shed, it's all, we know it's all ready to go, so next year we can just pull it out, and, and uh, yeah, we don't need to fix anything, hopefully, so um yeah and uh yeah we got this is the excavator uh the 45 ton excavator or 46 ton excavator um that yeah we're hoping to uh yeah take down to the development block there um and we can start picking up some of the rock piles and um yeah different things so it'll be handy handy thing to have down there um and yeah we're just got to wait for it to dry out so we yeah i think we've got another 40 something mil here last night and at the development block I think it was close to 70 mil so um yeah it's going to be wet for a little while but um yeah we've got plenty of stuff to to go on with here um we've got a fair bit of a mess in the shed um we've just all spare parts and things we've been buying and whatnot of all just yeah been dumped I guess um and yeah we've just got to try and um yeah sort it all out we might take some of the stuff down to another property just stuff we're not likely going to need um very often at least anyway but we can stick it out of the road um under cover still um and yeah we've got things like yeah tires the spare tires for the steiger um yeah just bits and pieces a few spares here and there got some old bags of wheat um seed wheat that we didn't use and um yeah just parts from the Steiger, the weights for the jewels, that's for the jewels. Um, and then there's, um, yeah, spaces underneath that. And there's got some weights for it over here. And then, yeah, just, just bits and bits and pieces here really. So we, um, yeah, hoping to get this all tidied up. We do have a bit of pallet racking up here, um, all through there, but, um, yeah, we're going to need, need a bit more, I think. Um, and yeah, hopefully, we can organise ourselves a bit better here um, while we've got the time. So, yeah, we've got to wait for rainy days here till we can get a few of these jobs done. So, other than that, we're usually flat out all year round. So, there's always something to do. But anyway, we'll... Yeah, that's just where we're up to at the moment. We'll see what we can get into. Guys, she's looking a bit more tidy here. A little pallet racking, and just a couple of bit, a few odds and ends there. Hey guys, we're just moving a fair bit of stuff down um, to one of the other properties. Uh, this is just an old grain shed. We keep the augers and a few bits and pieces in, but if you want to see something gross, um, there was about 300 kilos of wheat in here the chook feed and yeah it seems within a couple of days it's all gone and just turned to yeah nothing um but yeah we baited quite a few mice and that's all of them there you can see all around so it was apparently i wasn't here yesterday but it was very bad um they were running around everywhere um yeah barely could see the floor so yeah, that's um, pretty disgusting, but that's what's been going on at the moment. We've had, yeah, pr pretty bad mice problems in the area. Um, we're hoping that this rain we've been having will put an end to that. Um, yeah, usually the rain fills up all their holes and homes and, yeah, and they just disappear. So we're hopeful for that anyways. Mm -hmm. 